I began painting them for pure fun and escapism in a time where there wasn't much of that going around and I really needed it for my mental health. It just came from the fun of it and it uh, felt rather naughty at the time and, you know, silly and uh, that made me want to do it uh, even more. This is a copy of a now declassified status report uh, from the Air Technical Intelligence Centre from, uh, I think, 1943. It was called the Project Blue Book and this is a real uh, survey of asking people who've sighted UFOs um, exactly where and how they saw them and just some of the questions are just sort of delightful and, and quite amusing. I find that there's this nostalgic idea of the unknown that is less threatening than the current uh, forces of the unknown which are, you know, anything from conspiracy theories uh, to, you know, state secrets, um, you know, the sort of the trials and the court cases and the forms of manipulation that we have now through digital media seem a lot more sinister. The process of wet on wet not only mimics the old nostalgic forms of photography and, uh, and mocking up things prior to digital and Photoshop, because there is an element of the unexpected that always comes in when I'm painting and blending and studio processes that embrace uh, uncertainty, um, I think are exciting ones. Carl Jung wrote a book about flying saucers and he said whether they exist or not is not the point. He said in times of crisis in humanity, uh, people start to come up with these sightings, hallucinations, um, you know, fantasies. There's a, an absolute proliferation of them in times of crisis.